What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. I have a free graphic novel for you if you sign up for my newsletter in the description below. So if you love comics, go check that out. I also, if you love this style of Prince Valiant stuff, have an Indiegogo on right now. It's called Dave's Vault, and it follows a knight in a fantasy world. So you will enjoy that for sure if you like this. Uh, go back that now. That is on the description below also. All right. It is a joy to bring this to you. Uh, I was not exactly sure what I'd think about this. That's why I only grabbed one volume. But this is a Fantagraphics printing of Prince Valiant. It covers 1937 to 1938. And I've never really been a huge fan of newspaper strips. Uh, I, I read a few of them here and there, and I find it very hard to get into because of the way that they're formatted. They're often referencing the ones before so that you remember what you read last week or yesterday or whatever it is. Um, so I was a little hesitant about this, even though uh, everybody's you know, told me how great Prince Valiant is. And of course, I've seen the artwork, which is phenomenal. So I, I know that uh, it, it is on that level. I was also hesitant because... Uh, it is 1937, so I was like, ah, well, you know, maybe it's a little dated on uh, the way the writing is. I've read a lot of Golden Age stuff, and it can get up there. But I opened this up, and, uh, you know, there's a, a very nice intro at the beginning. Fantagraphics did a beautiful job with the production on these. Uh, they really do a wonderful job with their books. You learn a lot about Hal Foster. There's an interview with him here. Uh, you learn that he did some Tarzan strips. Really cool stuff. And then it gets into Prince Valiant. Um, and Beautiful, beautiful book. This is a big oversized book, if you can't tell. I don't have a standard size comic on me, but a standard size comic would come up to about maybe two thirds or less of this size. So you get wonderful oversized art, just gorgeous stuff, just like you'd read in a newspaper. This is, uh, and that's, uh, that's, uh, gives you a nice feel. I also love this very nice paper. It's not, not glossy or anything like that. It's just, it does the art justice perfectly. And they did restorations on these, so the art looks crisp and cool. Uh, this is definitely a wonderful way to read this. Now, it follows the story of this kid uh, who basically uh, his his father is uh, exiled from a kingdom. They set up their own kingdom on this island, and then he kind of ventures off and, and ends up in King Arthur's court. And he really loves chivalry. He's, he's just a pure hero at heart, and he wants to be a knight. And so he gets into all these adventures where he's uh who's doing nightly things fighting trolls and the like and uh and uh, rescuing princesses you know the, the the drill uh absolutely stunning stuff this art is so good it's unbelievable i found myself you know i was worried about the pacing because of the golden age uh and because of the newspaper strip element of it but it doesn't read like any other newspaper strip you really have a good continuing story you get a synopsis in panel one and that's it and then it rolls on. Uh, I couldn't put this down. As a fantasy fan, I just found this phenomenal. Uh, I just wanted to keep reading more, and I just didn't want to stop. And as it went along, he really, Hal Foster, the, the artist that is, really got into the characters uh, about halfway through this, maybe. Uh, you know, it took, a, it took a little bit to find its footing and kind of what it was doing at first. But he really developed a ton of characters. You've got, you've got a wonderful uh, princess... You've got a wonderful, you know, sort of best friend and rival who's who's also vying for the princess. Uh, you've got King Arthur and all the uh, Sir Gawain, all the uh, all the classics uh, you could want in here. And he's really veered away from the supernatural stuff. There's a little bit about Merlin uh, in here, and, and there's a spell that kind of gets cast. But for the most part, it feels like this is something that happens in reality. It's kind of an interesting uh, interesting take on the whole Arthurian legend uh, concept here. So beautiful stuff. Uh, I really can't wait for more of this. I'm going to get a bunch more. Look at this awesome drawing right here. Um, and uh, I just want to know what happens. Now, as I understand it, uh, the characters kind of age and grow up, and then the next generation kind of shows up. Uh, it is it is truly like a epic story. It, do, it doesn't uh, follow that Marvel time or anything like that uh, that a lot of superhero comics do these days. It's really cool. Great production value on this book. Uh, great stuff, and I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, I would say buy this uh, probably before any other comic if you're interested in this. Now, a lot of people also say this isn't, quote, a real comic because they don't use dialogue balloons. You see how they have, like, a narrative storytelling. Like, it's uh, like almost like it's a children's book with, uh, with you know, art and then uh, then some words for the children to read and all that. So it's a different way of doing comics that's, that's uh, again, just different than anything else I've ever read. Very neat. 
uh, and that's something to mention also. Uh, 10 out of 10. Perfection. I cannot, I, I couldn't want anything else from this. <laughs> that's about it's hard to it's hard to keep talking when you have something great because uh, it's very easy to criticize the negative parts of things when when you're interested in that. Very hard uh, when things are are just so perfect uh, that it's unbelievable, and that's what we have here in Prince Valiant. So look forward to Volume Two. I'll be ordering that shortly. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.